A remarkable aspect of language growth is the variety of ways in which toddlers demonstrate their linguistic creativity. An often cited example of this creativity is morphological overregularization. What do we see at the zoo? Animals. What kind of animals? Uh, we see. We saw zebra. Yeah. This toddler is learning how to express past tense. The most frequent pattern is to add the past tense suffix to the verb stem. But in this case, the toddler applied the suffix to a lexical exception, the verb see, whose past tense form is the irregular saw. Toddlers also demonstrate linguistic creativity by using regular syntactic patterns to express novel concepts. Consider the pattern of noun modification by another noun. The first noun modifies the second noun. The second noun is therefore considered the head of the noun phrase. A jelly donut is a type of donut, not a type of jelly. A coffee filter is a type of filter, not a type of coffee. Three-year-old children can use this pattern creatively, often in a humorous way. If you would like to do the monkey bars again? How about elephant bars? No, they're not elephant bars. They're called monkey bars. Where do you think it is? Um, maybe it's a swordfish. What do you think? Or a sword dolphin. Using simple syntactic rules like this to express novel ideas is the essence of linguistic creativity. And the fact that three-year-old children are capable of such creativity is an important chapter in the story of language growth.